Hey everybody, it's Robert with the Secret Wine Society. We bring you everything strange, wonderful, and amazing from the world of wine. We also bring you amazing people. I have here special guest, Liz Oler. She's awesome. If you don't know her yet, you should. You're missing out. She's one of the best people that I know in my entire life. She's incredible. So she's here to do a wine review with us. I feel blessed. This is awesome. A very special privilege. But we're going to talk about this Barbaresco today. So, hello Liz. How are you? I'm doing great. You think you're the one who's blessed. Huh? Well, no. <laughs> we're both very happy right now. It's super hot and we're ready to have a little bit of a drink. Just, just a touch. And we're going to do this Barbaresco. So, what I have here is the Cantina del Pino 2016 Barbaresco. And this is their entry level. But... I'm telling you guys right now, 2016 was an epic vintage. So if you're looking for Nebbiolo from Piedmont, now keep in mind, Nebbiolo doesn't grow anywhere else. This is the grape that, that goes into Barbaresco or Barolo. Sometimes they'll call it Lange Nebbiolo. But 2016 was an epic vintage. You need to search these out, find them. Even the entry level bottles like this are absolutely amazing. Now, Nebbiolo is going to have, I mean, you can see the color here. So, Liz, what do you think of that? So, it's kind of light, right? It's very light. Yeah. So, this doesn't have, you know, they don't have a lot of anthocyanins in there. So, the color's not super rich, you don't get a, but you get a lot of tannin. So, these will age. Typically, you want to wait about 20 years. Like, we can't wait that long, right? <laughs> <laughs> not at all. So, we're going to try this now to get an idea of where it's going, right? So... Anyway, this clocks in at about 14.5 alcohol, so tell you what, so you've got a carafe there and I have Great. one, go ahead and pour it. Alright, one, two, three. Yep. Alright, so we will hold our glass up for the audience here, kind of showing the color. So it is lighter, now what do you think of that color? It's very ruby. Yes. It looks, I mean it just looks like, ju it looks juicy. I yes. Just Nice, I want to drink it. Yeah, nice ruby color. I mean, and I, I can tell you, like I said, 2016 was such a great vintage. Even the lowest level Nebbiolas coming out of, of Piedmont in that particular vintage are outstanding. So we just opened this, and typically you want to decant this a little longer, right? But let's smell it. I know you got a head in it, but... I did. Help I couldn't help it. <laughs> I, I, I was already starting to smell it. Yeah, you can smell it as soon as we pour it. So let's yeah. go ahead and smell this. And okay. cheers. cheers. Yeah, by the way, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It really just, I feel like I'm smelling a wine that has like 10 times the opacity of this wine. Yes. It, it, it doesn't, it, it does not look like it smells. It's very surprising. Yeah, when you look at it, you think, well, okay, what is this? I mean, if you used to coat around some of the bigger wines out of Washington, California, whatever, then you're looking at it with the color, you're not impressed, but no. it's big. It really is. It's very big. It's rich. It's... Oh. So you don't grow Nebbiolo here in Oco Valley. It's a very hyper-local grape. It's really adapted to Piedmont, and outside of Piedmont, they've tried to grow it. It just doesn't do very well. So if you want the best of the best, and this is one of the greatest grapes in the world, you need to do some Piedmont Nebbiolo. So that's gonna be Barolo, Barbaresco, or Lange Nebbiolo for lower end, more simple wines. But anyway, so typically, like I said, we would have decanted this, we didn't. We couldn't wait. She and I looked at this bottle, we're like, yes, please. All right, let's smell it one more time. You can tell this will go for miles. Like, how long do you think this would age? I think probably, I, as if I know the answer to that question, but uh, maybe 10 years. Yes. If I'm pulling it out of She is exactly sky. correct. Like, honestly, this would be better in 10 years, but do we have 10 years? Like, she and I are drinking this now, and we are very happy, like, just smelling it. We haven't even tasted it yet, and we're extremely happy. You'll be happy drinking this. Maybe you don't have 10 years, and we're not going to wait 10 years, because who knows what the hell's going to happen. But I can tell you right now, and I think you'd agree, this smells amazing. It does. And, you know, I can imagine it, you 
could get some of that age by decanting it. Yeah, by so letting some of that that volatility evaporate. Like you can smell a little bit of that. Yeah, so what she's saying, day. okay, so that's true. He's, he's, he, he will speak in more... Well, but wait, practice. so her husband is a master chef. This guy is incredible. That's exactly And you would totally have to decant this in the morning, open it, and decant it the entire day. Now, if I had her husband in my house, I'd be drinking this kind of stuff every day because I'd be drinking five-star meals, but whatever, it is what it is. But this is exactly correct. You would decant this in the morning, let it open up for about 10 hours, chill it down to about 65, and then serve it. So let's try it. 65, okay. What are your people temperature is right now? Well, you know, our, our air conditioning is actually working, so it's probably just over 65. Okay. And actually, to be honest, Nebbiolo can be a couple degrees higher because then you get some of the rose petal and some of the finer Ooh, elements out of it. That. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, definitely something flowery. Something flowery, something juicy. Like fresh cut flowers. Like, I mean, it's just like a very, like, fresh, like, you can tell the, the grapes are very high quality. Shall we taste it? Yes. Cheers. One more time. Waiting long enough. Yes. I don't want to torture us, right? Or don't want to torture her. Our, our poor guests. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm going to fall over. <laughs> That's incredible. It's even better than it smells. Yes. Wow. So, and it's still there. The tannins are there. There's uh -huh. a little There's, bit of grip, a little not, bit of dryness, but it's they're fine tannins. Yeah, they're not overbearing at all. At all. Like this is kind of ready to go. This is their entry level. Can you imagine yeah. like what else? No, they have? I mean I could drink this today and be so happy. I'm sure. Yeah, if I waited ten years, fine. But I can. We didn't even decant this, and yeah. I can say I'll just drink this. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Now, what would Andreas? your wonderful husband and I can't wait to come back over and have a five-star meal I was totally in awe but what would he probably have this with like rich pork dish or beef or something like that definitely something rich I think though because of the body of this wine it would do just as well with a cheese platter as it would with agreed and the ass is good too because it's got yeah it's got a lot of balance and a lot of layers and I think that it's one of those wines where you can choose what to pair it with and it will bring something different out in it you see why I love her <laughs> like the way her brain works it's like I love her all right <laughs> but this is delicious Let's drink it's it one more really, time it's really good agreed mm -hmm. I want to smell it a million times Oh, I could just smell this wine all day. Mm. Oh. That is so smooth. It's different every time you take a sip. Yeah. It tastes a little different. Now, can you imagine if you you work hard, but if you if I had decanted this for you, so I'm not a good friend. I didn't think I had. Oh gosh. I should have decanted this for her. Why didn't I do this? I'm Robert, you're terrible. Why am I even here? Seriously, like I could have decanted this all day. Could you imagine what this wine would do? It would open up really beautifully. It would it would definitely deepen. I can I can taste that in it. There's like that little bit of maybe that acid that might burn off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so like what she's saying, like the he potential. Feels. You like you can just <laughs> feel the potential. Like if you yeah. let this thing sit out, do its thing, get a little oxygen, it's just going to reward you later. Yeah, so I'm very happy. So let's finish this off camera and relax. I'm so happy that you're here. So for all you guys that don't know anything about Nebbiolo, I'm telling you 2016 was dynamite and we completely loaded up. So I'm happy and looks like you're happy. I'm happy. So we'll see you guys in the shop very soon. And if you Talk don't you know anything about Nebbiolo, you know who to ask. That's right. Come to the Secret Wine Society. You'll see Liz. We'll all have a nice class in Nebbiolo. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.